Hey everyone, Scott here from driveandreview.com and I am in a 2023 Jeep Gladiator. Finally, I've been trying to drive one of these things. I rented one or I tried to rent one about a year ago. They didn't have one for me and I got in something else, but uh, I, I'm finally in one today. I am traveling at the moment and I picked this thing up from the Detroit Metro Airport this morning and I've driven it about 100 miles so far and <laughs> this is cool. It's really, really cool. There, there's a lot that I like about it. There's a lot that I don't like about it. And that's what this video is going to be. It's just going to be my, uh, I guess it's just going to be a big fat pros and cons list. This is not going to be a polished video. I didn't practice any of this. It's just stuff I've been thinking about this morning as I drove up from Detroit. Yeah, so this video is for anybody thinking about getting one of these things, whether a new or used, and you just really want to know the honest, like no BS pros and cons. That's what I aim to give you in this video. So here we go. First thing that I like is, wow, this thing is really unique. It's not like any other vehicle that I've ever driven. I have driven a Jeep before, and this feels a little bit different. The dashboard and the seating position is pretty much the same. It's not all that different, but the outside, the way this thing looks, and actually the way that it drives is completely different. It's just, it's just not the same. And I like that, you know, you cars these days, they're all the same. You, we've got all these crossover SUVs. I mean, that's all most auto manufacturers are, are producing these days. And here we have Jeep making this, <laughs> this weird concoction of a, of a Jeep and a pickup truck. And I don't know, it's cool. I like it. it it's not really my flavor, honestly. I don't think I'd ever buy one of these things, but I don't know. It's cool. There's, there's a lot about it that I like. And um, yeah, so just being different, that, that's a good thing. So I think maybe the best way to get into some of these other things that I like and I don't like is to go for a drive. So let's just uh, put my foot on the brake, push the start button. Uh, this is a, a keyless, keyless, keyless system, as most new cars are these days. So there is no key. It's just got the key fob and the, uh, the start button, which is kind of cool. So yeah, let's just put it in drive and go. Pulling out here. Uh, one thing that I do like, I didn't really expect it in this. Hold on, I've got a door open. It's beeping at me. There we go. I had no idea my door was open. Anyway, so yeah, one of the things that I like the most is visibility. I don't really drive these kind of vehicles often, so sitting up so high is, it's a good feeling. I, I like that. I, I like being able to see everything, uh, which leads me to something that I don't like, which is visibility all around. It's, there's a blind spot back here, a major blind spot. Merging into traffic is really difficult. Not so much that way, just the, uh, just over my shoulder on this side. Okay, so another thing that I don't like, and this one was obvious, going around any corner in this thing is sketchy. And you know, it, it's a Jeep, it sits very high up off the ground, and if it didn't do that, I would have been shocked. I'm just saying that I come from smaller cars, I prefer smaller cars, and just having this thing lean over so far and be so squishy in the corners, whether it's at a high speed or a low speed. I don't like that, but don't kill me in the comment section because I know it's a Jeep and that's, that's what they do. Another thing that I like is, okay, so this thing is very big and tall, like I just said, and you can see everything and you would think, okay, wow, that's a really big vehicle and it must be very difficult to drive, but everything is just so light. Steering is, is so incredibly light. I can literally steer with my pinky and uh, the brake pedal is very light, but firm, good brakes. Nothing requires effort to get this thing to respond, which was unexpected because, you know, it's, it's a big truck. I was expecting it to act like a big truck. So I, I think that's, that's pretty cool. Another thing that I like is the typical Jeep dashboard. It's completely flat. It's very rigid and it's it's really <laughs> i don't know it's just utilitarian or beefy i can't think of the right word but it's jeep everything is hard plastic which is fine that that may be a thing that i'm going to complain about in a moment but you know everything is is just very jeep and very 
very utilitarian. I like that. Something I don't like. So as I said, I drove up here from Detroit this morning. It was about an hour's drive on the freeway and road noise is just ridiculous. It is a lot better than a soft top Jeep or any any soft top Jeep. So it's it's not gonna be that ridiculous. But even though this being a hard top, road noise is very, very prominent, <laughs> very annoying. Uh, it's kind of hard to hear the stereo without cranking it way up. So, but again, that's a Jeep. I know you don't buy these things for, you know, it's not a Mercedes Benz. It's, it's not a Maybach. It's not gonna be completely silent. I know that. So, it is what it is. Something else that I don't think I like so much is fuel economy. So I've just been burning through gas. I think it's just, so it says 19.7 miles per gallon average, but it seems like more than that because the gas tank is so small. I've only been driving this thing for a couple hours and I'm just over a half a tank of gas now, which, you know, even if it is getting, you know, nearly 20 miles to the gallon, that's not bad, I guess, for a vehicle like this, but when the gas tank is so small, it just creates that illusion of being, you know, just being not so good on gas. Okay, I just want to say also that I like this thing more than I dislike it, but I have another couple dislikes in a row that I want to get to. First of all, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a lot of, a lot of plastic rattling. It may not be coming through in the, in the microphone, but everything rattles. It's got 14,189 miles on it. I wouldn't really expect that for a brand new car, essentially. But again, it's a Jeep. Another thing that I don't like, and again, I'll, I'll talk about things that I like in a moment, because I, I, like I said, I like this thing more than I dislike it, but something that I dislike is the power. Now, I'm just coming into this experience fresh. I have no idea what's under the hood of this thing. I'll list it here, right here on the screen. But it feels like it's just not enough power. This thing is just gutless. Merging onto the freeway, mm, <laughs> it's kind of sketchy, but I guess driving around town like this, it's fine. But it's just, it's definitely not fast. It could definitely use a lot more power. And thinking back on it, I think maybe that's one of the things that disappointed me the most. Just because, man, I can't. <laughs> okay, that's another thing I don't like. The, the, the windshield is so narrow, it's kind of hard to see stoplights if you're right underneath it like that. But, yeah. Okay, more things that I like. You know, I like the fact that I can just drive this thing anywhere. This is not the fully off-road version. It's, still, it's got basic street tires on it. You know, it's good enough to climb over curbs and sidewalks if you make a wrong turn. Not saying I did that. I might have done that, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna admit to it. But yeah, I like the fact that if you go down a dirt road, it's gonna be fine. If you go over a curb, it's gonna be fine. And you know, that's what, a, that's what a Jeep is. And I understand why people like these things. This Gladiator is every bit of a Jeep as a Wrangler is, or a Rubicon. It's, it feels like a Jeep, it looks like a Jeep, it works like a Jeep, that's awesome. Would I buy one of these things for myself? <laughs> no, but I like it, I, I really do. Another thing that I like, actually, it, it rides pretty well. Yeah, I know, I just complained about the fact that it's pretty wishy-washy in the corners at any speed, but going down the road like this, on roads that are any condition, whether they're smooth or bumpy or whatever, it feels nice. It's not gonna rattle your teeth out like a lot of big trucks do, so I like it, I like it. Another thing that I really like is the gauge cluster. It's super clean, very easy to read, and I can tell pretty much anything just by glancing at it. I don't need to look down and, and hunt for things. And again, this is my first time in one of these things and I was able to just, just to get in it, drive down the road, take a quick glance at the gauges and understand everything. Speed, how much fuel I have. Essentially, it's, it's perfect in that regard. But one of the things that I don't like is the small infotainment display. It does have CarPlay, which is good. I like that. But the when you actually engage 
Apple CarPlay. The, uh, the CarPlay screen is actually smaller than the, the boundaries of the screen itself. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit, I used to live down there. <laughs> this is, I'm, my mind is just going off in different directions because I'm, I'm visiting my, my hometown. And uh, it's my first time that I've been back here in a very long time. But uh, anyway, yeah, the infotainment screen is small. When you do the Apple CarPlay thing, it's actually even smaller than that. So that's something that I don't like. Speaking of infotainment, the stereo in here isn't all that good. It's, you know, combined with the wind noise on the freeway especially, it's just, uh, yeah, it leaves a lot to be desired. Again, I know, it's a Jeep. <laughs> if you want a better stereo, there are a lot of better options. So here I am on a dirt road, and you might be able to start hearing the rattles more especially down here in the console. It's, it's pretty, pretty noisy. Anyway, that was just a quick little video going over all the things that I like and I don't like about the 2023 Jeep Rubicon. Actually, I don't even know if it's a 23 or not. <laughs> if, it's, if it's a 22, I'll, I'll, I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen here, but I, I believe it's a 23. Long story short, I like this thing more than I don't like it. Uh, coming into this thing fresh, never driven one of these things before. I'm not a truck guy. This is not my kind of vehicle at all, but I like it. There's a lot more that I like about this thing than I dislike. So if you're thinking about getting one, definitely check it out. It's it's definitely, it's unique. And I think that's its main selling point. And that's the thing that I think most people buy this for is because there's really nothing else on the market like it. And it's a very good reason to buy one. You know, it's a Jeep. It does all the things that Jeeps do. It does it very well. There's a lot of storage in the back. You're high up off the ground. It can basically go anywhere. I recommend it. I really do. Even if you're just thinking about it and you're not sure if you want one, it's worth driving. Because for me, getting in this thing and driving it, you know, a little over 100 miles so far today, has changed my mind. I think higher of the Gladiator now than I did before I got into this thing this morning. So, yeah, I'm rambling. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I, I'm going to do a full review over on my blog, driveinreview.com. There's a link in the description below, or you can just do a Google search for it. I'm also going to do a complete pros and cons write-up as well. Uh, much more extensive than what I've listed out here. So do be sure to check that out if you're interested. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.